Hey guys, Coach Adam here from King Crusaders Basketball Club based in Medway. I've just got a bit of a basketball challenge for you, a bit of a basketball workout. Whether you're new to basketball, you've played basketball for a school or a club, this will definitely challenge you. Okay, you can use a basketball, you can use a football, any type of ball really. You see a small space, find your ball, get a bottle of drink, especially if it's a nice warm day. But we're going to get going. Alright, so basically I'm going to give you sort of three or four exercises and I'll tell you to pause the video so you can pause the video. Put your phone down, you can do the exercise, and you can pick the phone back up, watch the next part, and we'll just go along like that. Okay, so the first thing we do, nice and simple, you're just gonna get a nice wide stance for your feet. We're gonna go pounds. All right, you're gonna go 20 ankle with the right, 20 knee, 20 shoulder, and then 20 head. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same with the other side. So 20 ankle, 20 knee, 20 shoulder, 20 head. Okay, remember, work hard, keep it pouncing hard, try and keep your head up, try and keep your chest up. Okay, pause the video, do that now, go. Excellent, okay, well done. All right, so here's what we're gonna go next, we're gonna go killers. All right, so killers are, we start nice and low, again, nice stance, head up. We're gonna build it up to the side of our head. When it's out of our head, you kill it, and then you're gonna do it again. Okay, so you build it up, build it up, build it up, and then you kill it. Can only keep your head up the whole time. Okay, again, you go 20 with the right, and again, start nice and low. Just use the ends of your fingers, okay? Not the tips, but just the ends, the end pad on your finger at the bottom. And as you build up, start using more pads on your fingers, up to your head, and then kill it. And again, 20 on the right, 20 on the left. Okay, pause the video, go. Good, okay, well done. This time, we're gonna go these, and we're gonna go rocks. Okay, so again, we're getting that stance again. Okay, shoulder width apart, hips down, knees bent, chest up, chin up, and you're gonna go V's. Okay, again, you can make this harder by going wider, bring it right out wide, and obviously quicker, okay? So if you're finding it hard, just do little V's. If you find it quite easy, then go faster and go wider. You're gonna go 20 right, and again, 20 left, and then you're gonna go rocks. So again, rock it backwards and forwards, Again, you can make it harder by going wider and you can go faster, 20 right, 20 left, okay? So you're gonna go V's and rocks, both hands 20 times. Pause the video, go. Okay, good job guys. You should be feeling a bit of a sweat now. If you need a drink, make sure you grab drinks, especially if you're in the hot weather after you pause it, okay? Now we're gonna go crossovers, all right? So we're gonna keep our nice white base, keep our feet still. I don't wanna see feet moving during these exercises. Right, I wanna see the hand do the work. Okay, you're gonna go pound, cross, pound, cross. If you find it difficult, maybe you do a couple of dribbles first, okay? All right, if you find it really easy, and you pound it really hard, then cross over as fast as you can. Okay, make sure you bounce the ball outside your feet. The ball should be near your little toe. So it shouldn't just be in here, it should be out here, near your little toe. Okay, so you're gonna go 20 normal crossovers. And then you're gonna go 20 between the legs. Again, feet don't move. Pound, legs, pound, legs. If you need two or three dribbles, again, take two or three dribbles. But I'm expecting you to take one dribble cross, one dribble cross, pound it. Then you go 20 behind the back. Okay, pound behind the back, pound behind the back. Keep your head up. Okay, push yourself. If you make a mistake, it's fine. You gotta push yourself to make those mistakes. You should feel a bit uncomfortable, a little bit uneasy. That's where you get better. Okay, so 20 in front, 20 between the legs, 20 behind the back. One dribble in between each one. Pause it and go. Excellent, good job guys. Okay, now we're gonna add the last two different exercises together. All right, so. Again, that nice solid base. All right, we should be feeling a bit of a burn in here now. That's okay. Remember to rest in between each one. All right, get out a drink. This time we're going to go V's into crossover. V into crossover. Again, head is up, hips are down, chest is up. All right, we're going to use the pads of our fingers and our thumb. We're not going to put it with our palm. All right, we're going to extend our elbow, snap through. And again, if you want to find it harder, make sure you do a nice wide V cross. Nice wide V cross, and again, pick up the speed, okay? As you can see, I haven't touched the basketball in a long time, but here's why we're here, we're getting better. Okay, all right, so 20 Vs crossovers, and then 20 Vs legs, okay? V legs, again, if it's too difficult, maybe you do a V and then have a dribble, all right? But you just make it 
Make sure it's hard and make it too easy. And then the last one, V's back. V's back. Need to work on my left hand. V's back. Okay, whoa. Pause the video and go. All right, good. Remember, drink if you need it. You need to grab another ball or maybe a tennis ball or you can use an object like a rock or a bottle. Okay, so I've got a bottle for my drink earlier. I've got another basketball, but you could use a tennis ball as well, a little stone, a little rock, just an object, okay? Here's what you're gonna do. One ball, so my nicer ball is gonna be the one that's dribbling. My other basketball I'm gonna throw up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna do twenty I'm gonna do dribbling from my left hand, outside the foot, remember near your little toe. Keep your head up and you're going to watch this ball. So you're going to throw it up and down 20 times. So you can throw it a little bit higher, make it a bit harder. And again, pound this ball. We're not practicing catching, we're practicing dribbling the basketball. Okay, so we're going to do 20 on this hand. Okay, and then you'll switch. Now again, I could use a ball if I haven't got another ball or a tennis ball. So again, pounding it, I'm just going to throw and catch 20 times. Really pound this ball, throw it higher to make it a bit harder. Okay, if you drop it, don't worry, go get it, come back, keep dribbling. So 20 of those. All right, pause it and go. Okay, now we're gonna go crossovers. Again, use another ball, use a tennis ball, use a rock, use a bottle. You're gonna pound the ball. You're gonna pound the ball. You're gonna throw the ball up, cross the ball over, catch it with the other hand. Okay, so pound, throw, cross. If that's really difficult, you've got a basketball or a tennis ball, you can let it bounce if you want, okay? If you want to make it much harder, you've got to do two crossovers. So you throw it up and you do two crossovers, okay, before catching it. So I'll give that one a go. So throw it up, one, two, and then I catch. Ooh, okay. So you can see that's quite difficult. So whatever level you think you're at, if you want to test yourself, you could let it bounce, then you catch it, okay. You could just do one crossover, or you could throw it and do two. Ooh, you could also do combinations. So you could throw it up, Go behind the back and in front, and then you can catch it. Okay, I'm gonna to stick to the medium one, and hopefully a lot of you guys are gonna do the harder one. Okay, let's do 20, 30, maybe 40 of each. Okay, then get a drink, and we'll go to the next one. All right, pause it and go. All right, guys, good. We're moving on a little bit now. We're still gonna have ball handling in. We're gonna have some footwork. Okay, footwork's very, very important. You can't underestimate how important it is. We're gonna practice it right now, okay? If you've got no space, you've got very, very small space, like your back garden or somewhere, Okay, here's what we need to do. Okay, take a couple of dribbles. I want you to jump, stop into a triple fret. And I want you to reverse pivot, triple fret, forward pivot, triple fret, and then go back into your dribbles. And again, you do 20 on the right. So right hand, right foot's the pivot foot. And then go 20 on the left. So again, pound in, jump, stop, reverse pivot, forward pivot, hands. Jump, stop, reverse pivot, forward pivot, hands. Okay, that's the first one. Second one. All right, you're going to do the same thing. Hopefully you've got enough space to do this. And you're just going to do one dribble with a cross step. So you do the same thing. Jump, stop, reverse pivot, forward pivot, and then cross step here. And then you can go back to your spot. All right, or maybe if you've got enough space, you can just pivot here. Same thing, a couple of dribbles. Jump, stop, reverse pivot, forward pivot, cross step. A couple of pounds. Jump, stop, forward pivot, reverse pivot. Okay, you just work around your garden, pounding it, here, here, always like a cross step. Go okay, pounding, okay. Okay, again, 20 right hand, 20 left hand, just getting used to that pivot, nice and low. Don't bob up and down when you pivot. Stay nice and low, pound the basketball, make sure we're not traveling, okay? Be that referee, okay? Pause it, give that a go. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Hope it was a bit of a challenge. Uh, make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, for any contact details or for more workouts, or just for information on basketball. But thank you for joining me today, and if you uh, follow us, you get another one soon.